Hello, hello, welcome to day six. Um, today we are making cleansing spray. So this is a good alternative to um, smudging. Um, I guess if you don't like smoke or whatever, this is a good alternative to that. So all you're gonna need is some vinegar, uh, some crushed sage, some crushed Palo Santo, you can use sea salt as well if you would like. I went back in and added some. Um, I don't have the clip of, a clip of that, but that is quite all right. Um, and then some warm water. Make sure that your water is not boiling. All you're going to do is take all of your ingredients, your crushed sage, and your Palo Santo. Put them in a bowl and mix them up real good. You're going to add a cup of vinegar. And you're going to add um, a cup of warm water, not boiling water, just warm water. You don't want to cook the Palo Santo and the sage. Um, you're going to give it a good mix and you're going to cover it. And that is literally the steps to this whole thing. I let mine sit for about a week. Um, you can check on it just to make sure there are no dry bits. Like a lot of times sage likes to float to the top. So every once in a while and cover it, give it a nice good stir so that all of your um, herbs, I guess I will call them, can go ahead and mix in together. Now in this clip, it has been a week. I am, well, you can tell because the water's a lot darker. All I'm gonna do is go ahead and bottle this up. It's really important that you use a um, clean bottle. As you probably have guessed, this is a very spiritual recipe. Um, so you just wanna make sure everything that you use in is clean. You don't have no bad, bad energy on it. Um, so all I'm doing here, cause I didn't have a, like a, a funnel or nothing like that. It's best to not funnel this stuff anyway, cause that Palo Santo will clog, um, the funnel. But all I'm doing is pouring it into a cup and then you're going to see me pour it into the actual bottle that I'm going to use for my spray bottle. Um, it's just a bottle that I got from the beauty supply store, but again, you make sure it's clean and you make sure it, um, it's not carrying no bad energy and you will be fine. So as you can see, I didn't get all of my herbs into this bottle. You're going to see me be able to take, um, dig some of those out of the bottom of that cup and put them in the top. And then I did bottle up the rest of the, like the dry herbs that was in there. I bottled the rest of those up and I charged it under the full moon. And uh, that really is it. So... Um, when I say I charge it under the full moon, you just let your water sit out under the full moon. It's called moon water. That one is in a different type of bottle. Um, I use that for stuff like, um, I'll just like squirt a little bit in my laundry. Um, anytime I need, you know, anytime I do laundry, keep us all protected and keep us all in high spirits. Um, but I mean, that is really it. It's super simple. It's super duper easy. Um, it's really nothing to it except for actually getting the um, herbs and things of that nature. But if you know where to get your sage and you know where to get your Palo Santo, you are good. Now, I will say it is a little harder to find that chopped Palo Santo, like the Palo Santo, like in miniature chips. But I get mine at the health food store that I always go to that I get everything else from um, that I use to make all of this stuff. And, um, they do a really good job. So I'm not mad at it at all. Um, we finishing up here. I'm about to put some, after I finish trying to get as many Palo Santo chips into this, this next bottle as possible. I'm just going to fill it with a little bit of bottled, um, spring water. And all I did was sit that outside how you want to do it is to charge any type of water it can be regular fucking water it doesn't have to be a 
say a uh, cleansing cleansing spray um you just fill a, a bottle up but it has to be in a clear container sit it out under the full moon and then you have to go get it you have to grab it out from a direct light of the moon before the sun comes up um so that's easy peasy uh really appreciate you guys watching and continuing to watch i know some of these recipes ain't for everybody but i just i appreciate the support and um i guess i will see y'all tomorrow thanks